Okay, hey guys, it's Jessica. I'm back again uh, talking about how to study your Bible. So on uh, the other day we talked about why it was important to read the Bible. Jesus gave us a beautiful example of why it was important to read the Bible. Um, and we're going to continue with that theme and how to read the Bible. So we've talked about this in youth class before, but I want to break it down again just so that way you guys know uh, how I read the Bible and how I apply it to my life. So we're going to talk about the SOAP method. Everybody say SOAP. S-O-A-P. SOAP. Um, and that's going to be kind of our basis uh, for how we study and read the Bible. Uh, if you're anything like me, I really struggle with reading comprehension and just reading in general. Sometimes reading for me is really hard and reading the Bible is an even greater challenge. So I want to let you know that the Lord didn't set you up for failure. He wants you to understand and be able to read His Word. So if you guys have your Bibles, grab them and open up to James 1.5. Um, whenever I open up my Bible, I always pray this over myself because I, I just get in fear sometimes that I'm not going to understand the Bible. So in James 1, 5, he gives us a promise that if any of you lacks wisdom, he should ask God who gives generously to all without finding fault and it will be given to him. So I just focus on the first two, the first part and the last part because that really ministers to me that if you lack wisdom, you ask, he will give it to you. So every time I open up my Bible, I ask him, Lord, okay, you say in your word, if I lack wisdom, which I do, uh, that you'll give it to me. And I know that he will give it to me and he has. So I know he'll do it for you guys too. So back to our SOAP method. This is just one way to try um, and to start reading and understanding your guys' Bibles. So SOAP, we've got the S, that's for scripture. So find a scripture, a chapter, a book of the Bible that interests you and that um, you're excited to learn more about. I really like the book of John, that's where I started. So start wherever you're comfortable and then go from there. So you're gonna read a scripture, one chapter every single day. So S, scripture. Now when I read the scripture, sometimes it looks, you look at the chapter and it looks huge and it's so long, but break it up into chunks. Look at the first paragraph break it down to the second one. See how the second one connects to the first one and then continue to let the theme flow over you. You're not gonna understand everything at first, but the more you practice and the more you reread and you apply um, that, that faith, it's gonna make sense to you. So scripture, start with the scripture. Second is observation. Grab a notebook and pen, grab some fancy pens, that way you can make it all pretty. Um, that's what I do. Uh, grab some pens, grab a notebook, and you're gonna write down your observations. So while you're reading the scripture, you're gonna write down your observations, things that stand out to you, things that frustrate you, things that you have no idea. I have question marks written in my journal next to things that say, God, why would you do that? Or how did you do that? You use mud to heal the blind eyes? Like, what, that's so crazy. Uh, why would you use mud? Uh, so write down things that just stand out to you or that um, cause you some sort of emotional response. Um, so we've got the scripture, the observation, then the application. Now this part is the part that was the hardest for me, but it's the most life changing. When you read and you study this word, it's going to sometimes feel like there's a disconnect. This was written so long ago, how do I apply what you know David was doing to my life now? And what the Lord has been ministering to me about are the characteristics of the people. So when we look at David, we look at that he was a man after God's own heart. He was hungry and he worshiped God and he, he was faithful servant. He stood up for what was right. Those are all characteristics of things that I want in my life. And so as I see those characteristics or things that I don't want, Lord, I don't want to be like the disciples who sent the children away. Lord, I want them to come to know you. Lord, I pray, and that moves us on to our P. So after applying things that you think uh, you would like to have in your life or that you don't, then we pray about it. I pray and I ask the Lord, I say, Lord, come. I want to be like David. I want to be a faithful servant. Lord, I pray that I want to be like the disciples that send children away. Lord, I pray that you would help me. And you pray and you ask the Lord, just like Sam was saying, be honest, be real. Let him know what you're feeling. Let him know that you didn't understand something today. He can handle it and he wants to know and he wants to grow that relationship with you. So I hope you guys are encouraged. Stop. Scripture, observation, application, big important part, and prayer pray about it. So my challenge for you guys today, find a scripture, find Bible, um, somewhere in the Bible that you want to start reading, or if you already have somewhere, and apply the SOAP method. Break it down. Write down your observations. How does it apply to you? And pray about it, because tomorrow I'm going to be asking you guys questions. What did God speak to you? How did he speak to you? What is this? What did the scripture, uh, what was it, and how did it apply to your guys' lives? Um, I can't wait to hear from you guys. You guys are fantastic. Love you. Talk to you guys tomorrow. Bye!